You asked a really good question. You want to know exactly when you ovulated according to the results you received in doing ovulation prediction tests. Now, a woman is most fertile for six days out of each month, five days leading up to the day of ovulation and on the day of ovulation. And ovulation really isn't an exact science. It usually happens 12 to 16 days before your next period is going to begin. But everyone's body is a little bit different. Some ovulate sooner than the norm, some ovulate later. So um, that's why a lot of people turn to kits and other methods of tracking ovulation to find out exactly what their body is doing. Really, if you don't want to think much about it, you can you increase your chances of getting pregnant by starting to have intercourse every other day on the day your period ends and continue with this for 7 to 14 days depending on how long your cycles are. The longer the cycle, you'll want, the longer you'll want to continue with it because maybe you're ovulating later. And actually, a woman's chances of getting pregnant are highest if, it, if intercourse is had one to two days prior to ovulation, not necessarily on the day of ovulation. So um, if you're using ovulation prediction test kits, you might get a positive result hours to days before you actually ovulate. So this gives you a window of opportunity, and it's really hard to say exactly when you ovulated, but what it's, what it's detecting is an LH surge, or a luteinizing hormone surge that happens when the egg is released. And um, this surge might be seen on an ovulation prediction test kit prior to actually ovulating. So that's why there's a window we're not exactly sure when you ovulate. Something else that might help you, although it's in retrospect, is tracking your basal body temperature. Every morning before you get up out of bed, take your temperature, and it should be pretty constant during the first half of your cycle. This is when estrogen is in charge, and then when progesterone takes the lead during the second half of your cycle, or about the time you ovulate, your basal body temperature will rise about 0.5 degrees Fahrenheit. And when you see this rise in your temperature, then that means you ovulated one or two days prior. So this is why it helps you in retrospect, because if you track it from month to month, that will um, help you peg down the time that your body's ovulating so that you know for the next month when to plan out your most fertile window. Best of luck with everything, and if you have any other questions for me in the future, please feel free to ask them on our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash intermountainmoms and recommend us to your friends and family too.